Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain my project. Stock market price prediction using our programming. So to start with. First install required packages and use it by using library function. Quantmed. D series. Time series. Forecast. So run this line of code and you will see this will load in console. So after we will use get symbols function of quantmid package to load data of apple stock using symbol apl from this date to this date and this will load data from financialyahoo.com and run this to get data of apple and view it using view function and run it you will see the data set and it contain open price high price low price close price volume and adjusted price and this data is up to end of 2020 year and again go to code and use chart series function to get graph of the stock price data set here and run this line of code you will see the graph of apple stock it is fluctuating up and down and after this i will use add bollinger band to this using add b bands function and run this you will see the red lines to the up and down of graph this will give high and low and white line in the middle give the average price after this i will give the each column data to separate variable like open prices close prices and run this lines and after use the parameter function to give grid to graph here i give two rows and three columns and run this line and using plot function to plot the graph of open prices and run this lines and you will see the graph to open prices close price low prices volume and adjusted price and after this i will use adjusted price to predict the price of stock and store the data in predict price variable and run this line and again use the parameter function to plot graph in manner one row and two columns and use acf and pacf function acf is auto correlation function run this line to give the linear relationship between observation at time t and the observation at previous time and pacf is partial autocorrelation function upper line is the increase in price and lower line is the decrease in price and after this store the value in auto cf and run this you will see the auto correlation series of predict price and lag value 0 1 and its specified value and after store and display pacf value and run this line here you will see the partial auto correlation series of predict price with lag value 1 2 3 and here mostly our negative value and in acf are positive and after this i will use adf test function it is augmented dickey fuller test and run this line you will see that augmented dickey fuller test it used to unit root test for stationarity here the p value is 0 0.6 and if p value is greater than 0 0.5 then it is alternative hypothesis 
of stationary and Dickey Fuller value is negative and after that get the difference value using diff function of predict price it will subtract value from previous and store it in variable return apple run this line and after this separate 90% of data by multiplying 0.9 and store it in train and last 10% of data store in test and run both the lines after use the auto arima function to apple return train value and give seasonal to false and run this line you will see the arima order value is 100 with non zero mean and some mean value and after this use arima function to give order equal to 100 and fit it in fit variable and run this line after fitting fit variable use predict function to predict value and store it in preds and see predict value after running you will see the start value of 455 and end value of 504 with some value 0 0.92 and 0 0.86 most value are 0 0.24 after we use forecast function to plot graph of predicted value and store it in test forecast with h equal to 15 and run this line and you will see points and forecast value and low 80 value and high 80 and low 95 and high 95 and in forecast you will again see most value are 0 0.24 and after use parameter function to plot graph and run this line after plot the graph of test forecast and run this line you will see the blue line that is forecasted value of 15 days and after use the accuracy function to check the accuracy of model and run this line you will see the mean error and root mean square error and mean accuracy error and mean percentage error more information in description box thank you for watching